Welcome back everyone, Nox Scott here with another Destiny video and today I'm going to be bringing you part 6 of a multi-part video on how to clear King's Fall. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get through Transept and how to find the exotic chest. Now after you've killed Golgoroth, all you've got to do is go to the lower area that's underneath that cliff behind the totem pole that lights up. Um, once you've ran through that door, you're going to go through these labyrinths. If you were to go to the left right here, you would actually find a cliff to your left that you could jump up on and there would be a calcified fragment. I didn't run for it because I've already gotten it. Um, you can do so if you want to, but this isn't a fragment video, so I'm not going to be using it. Now, Transept is a really easy area to clear through. If you've done the raid before, you already know how to get through it. A lot of people are going to be doing uh, for the exotic chest, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Um, all you've really got to do is make sure that you don't get in front of these pillars that shoot out of the wall. Um, I'm really bad about getting in front of it, especially the very first one. The light sits right there, and if you run up to the light to get it to move, if you stand there, that very first pillar will activate and shoot you off the wall. The very first time we ever did this raid blind, I was the first person to get shot off the wall, and nobody had any idea about these pillars yet. Now what I've done is I've jumped down to the very first area. There's this plate here that this pillar is pulling across. Um, I have to stand on this plate and hold it active so the platforms in between the next platform is going to stay. Um, what we're actually going to be doing here is one person is going to jump across to stand on that platform and he's going to form the plates in between the next platform. And then here in a second we're actually going to have a third person jump all the way across to get to that last platform. Once you've done that the platforms will actually go dark if you hold all three of them long enough and the uh, plates in between each platform will actually stay active. Now, right here, Peanut Butter 2K6 is going all the way to the far left, the very last platform. He's going to be standing on it, you'll see, as the white light shines. After you stand on it for about five seconds, the plates go black. And once they've done that, the plates in between will actually stay active. Well, it's not, you don't have to do this, but for everybody to get to the exotic chest at the same time, you do want this platform right here to stay active. Now, these plates right here that we're jumping to... These won't be visible without your ghost. Um, they're only visible for us because someone had already jumped up to them and stood on them. Um, it's better to have one person jump across to get the plates active, and then you can have the rest of them follow you. But once you get up on there, you're going to jump to the right on this, uh, this overhang right here. Then you're going to jump straight across to the overhang on the wall. And then there's going to be some invisible plates right here that you won't see without your ghost. And then you're going to come up here and go to the right, and here's going to be the room on the wall. And the exotic chest will be in the very back. Now this chest does typically only drop scents, um, moldering shards, uh, general stuff that all the other chests typically drop, but there is a small chance that you can pull an exotic. Right here, my friend Jedi Yoda actually got the Telesto. Um, this is the first time that it's ever dropped an exotic. We actually thought it wasn't an exotic chest until this point, and I've pulled from the chest a total of five times and never seen an exotic for all of our players. So at this point, I finally confirmed that it is an exotic chest, but... The drop rate's really low, so don't expect one. Just try to hit it every time you go into the raid. Now, there was a patch um, the other day, and it was after this um, video was recorded, and it said something about altering the drop rates of a certain chest. I don't know if that was in the raid or if that was chest in, um, in patrol. So if it did change it, hopefully the drop rate of the exotics did go up. Now all you need to do, if you haven't done this part before, you can just follow the video and look at the platforms. You'll see the general area that you have to go towards. Um, if you haven't done this area before, just take your time. If these pillars are in the wall and you think they're going to push out, don't try to run past them and beat them. It's better just to take your time and stop. See right here, I'm waiting for it to come out because I didn't know how long it was going to take. Um, <laughs> you can try to beat the timing on them, but just fair warned, it's not easy. And I've had a lot of experience of being shot off the wall, so <laughs> it's not fun. But as you can tell, I'm the last person on my raid team to make it. I did have a lot of troubles with this part. As you can tell, I edited a lot of it out. <laughs> so just take your time. It's not hard to get through. If you feel like this part's impossible for you to do, um, then you can just back out and wait until they get to the last part and rejoin. Um, they won't be able to get through that door where they're standing at until the entire raid team makes it to them. And also, if you are a hunter, I would suggest if you still have the Bones of Ao to use them, your light is not going to matter, but it will help you get through all this part. 
after you've gotten up to the part where the door is, it'll open when the entire raid team makes it, and then you're going to get into this circle arena that you need to jump up on these rock structures. Once you get high enough on these rock structures, you, structures you'll actually have plates, and uh, all you've got to do is just find these plates and jump up on top of them until you get to the top ring. And then the door is going to be on the outside of the top ring, and this will take you into the arena where the Daughters of Oryx will be. Now, I hope this video did help. Um, I know a lot of people are wanting to find the chest if they haven't already found it. Um, if this video did help, then uh, please leave a like or a comment down below if you have any further questions. Um, and I want to thank you all again. You know, this YouTube series has been great.